I'm Scott Davis, former footballer and recovered problem gambler. I'm meeting Wayne Rooney to talk about my experience of problem gambling and his experience of the highs and lows faced by a footballer at the top of their game. This is part of 32 Reds Know Your Limits campaign to ensure gambling is only ever entertainment and always enjoyed responsibly. I'd like to refer to a comment that you made in your autobiography where it said, I had an idea I was doing badly and did what most gamblers do. I chased my bets and tried to recoup my losses by putting on bigger sums. How did you deal with it all at the beginning? I was a young lad, um, just come into a lot of money. And when you, you go away with Manchester United to an away game, you stay in the hotel. Um, and especially when you're away with England, um, you're in the hotel for seven to 10 days. Um, and you get bored and you end up doing things to, to fill the time and, and at that time gambling was, was one of them. It was easy to, to put bets on. It went like I had to go into a, a bookies and, and put bets on where there, there is limits. This was over the phone where it was just numbers and um, it didn't feel like real money but before you know it You've lost, a, um, you've lost a, a good bit of money and you don't realise actually the amount you're putting on at the time. I won at the start, actually, um, a couple of bets. I thought this is easy, it's easy money. So it sucks you in a bit, bit more and then ends up losing, ends up down, ends up chasing my bets, um, trying to win my money back. You're there to play for your, your country or to play for your club and um, when you're losing money um, the way I was then it, it will affect you. Thankfully I, was, I managed to obviously just pay up what uh, I'd lost and I'd move on and I didn't gamble again. I'd, I'd learn from, from my mistakes and I think um, if you, you carry on gambling you lose more then that's when you can get sucked in and it can be a, you can be in a bad situation. I went on a couple of low moves when I was younger, living in hotels, away from friends and family. Gambling took its toll eventually, but you had a lot of success at a young age, and how did you deal with the success and the pressures that came with it? I've seen players who have been terrified of losing games or making a mistake, and it does affect them massively on the pitch. There is pressure, but I had to learn to deal with it from a young age, because to play at the top level, you have to understand that that pressure is gonna come. It's part of your job. At my worst, when I was out of control, I was drinking two or three energy drinks a night to stay awake to be able to bet on sports around the world. What were the moments when you lost control on the pitch for England? I think the obvious one is the World Cup in, in 2006. Before the World Cup, I broke my foot. When you're not fully fit, playing at the highest level, um, you know, you can't perform as well as you'd like. And, I think that frustration um, obviously boiled over and made me react the way it did, which um, seen me get the red card. It's such a bad feeling. It went to penalties and knowing that if we win, we go through to the semi-final, or if we get knocked out, having that feeling where is it my fault. So for me, the, the lows are what you remember and that's what sticks with you. You don't want to put yourself in that situation again, so you do try and learn from it. My life was heading in a different direction in 2015 when I did go to rehab. I now go around and can speak to the other players and try and get them help if they need help um, by talking about my experiences. You're here at Derby as a player coach. Do you get a lot of satisfaction from giving advice to the younger players? Yeah, I think it's important that they understand the responsibility of, of the money they're earning because um, they are um, earning a lot of money and that is um, a responsibility for, for us as, as older players um, who've been through that experience to, to help them and guide them on that, whether it's gambling, whether it's um, how to look after the money. Um, I think it's important that they take that information in from whoever is willing to give them it to, to help them. You're obviously England's record goal scorer. 
How did you deal with the moment the penalty was awarded and you were about to step up um, and take the penalty to put you to the to the top <laughs> of the pile with the goal scoring record? I was terrified. <laughs> Guy Lineker, um, he had the same opportunity to level with, with Sir Bobby Charlton. He tried to dink it down the middle, the keeper saved it and um, never played again. Got subbed off, never played again. So that was just in my mind. So I was just thinking, do you know what, just pick a corner. It's as high as you can and if the keeper saves it, fair play to him. What does the future hold for Wayne Rooney? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm a player coach here at Derby. Um, again, I want to try and bring my mentality into this club and try and help us win, um, try and help us get promotion. Um, I've made it very clear I want to go into management. How would you like to be remembered? Um, the feeling you get when you with your, win, win with your team is, is something special. So I want to be remembered as a good teammate, um, someone who works for the team and someone who your teammates know when you're on that pitch with them, they can trust you. Know yourself, know your limits, gamble responsibly.